an eight story building that fell in Embakasi. There are two cases of uh, five story buildings that fell in Kino, that in, in Kuyu constituency, Kiambu, that actually fell within, a, the both buildings fell within a span of around three months apart. We saw a two story building that fell in Ruiru, a three story building that fell in Kitengela, and a six story building that fell in Roka. There is also a case whereby a building was marked for demolition. The tenants were forced to vacate and before the building was demolished, the building fell in a f just a few days after the people had just vacated. That tells you that the situation is dire and it is very serious. But the question begs, why are these buildings falling? Who is to blame? What is wrong? with our construction. Is it the problem with engineers? Is it the problem of the authorities? Is it the problem of developers? Well, the main reason behind this is there is negligence at some point by someone. Some of the possible reasons why some of these buildings or why these buildings have fallen. Number one is a failure by the developer to follow the right procedure. Most of the buildings that, that I've just mentioned a good number of them, it was noted that they didn't have the necessary approvals. Some of them, the engineers were not fully involved in the project. And so that led to not following the procedure, the right procedure of construction and problems are able to arise. So when one is building a house, kindly follow the right procedure in order to ensure that the building is still stable and it is 